This is a VRO pump. I just took it out of my boat because my fuel pump stopped working on me the other day. Well, I thought it was the fuel pump. It turned out I was right. Um, heading offshore, about to head offshore, and the boat just stopped. The only way I was able to keep it running is by walking back to the bulb and pumping the bulb about every 30 seconds uh, or idle. And I had a few miles to go to get back to the ramp, so I wasn't going to do that. Um, I wasn't going to idle all the way back there. So anyway, I'm taking off the fuel pump, or taking the fuel pump apart. This is the fuel pump section of the uh, VRO. This here is the oil, like a little, I don't know, circuit card that maybe regulates how much oil goes into it. I did take it apart the other day, but I'm not going to take it apart right now. I just want to get show you the fuel components. So if you were to replace that, uh, just a couple screws on there. Actually, there's a whole bunch. I took them off earlier. Use a fifth, number 15, I think it's a torque bit or whatever they call those. So when I pull this out, this piston right here was up in this hole. This piston has got a little screw attached to the bottom of it that holds the little diaphragm that's on the inside of here together. So I guess I'll go ahead and just take this off first. So you can just unscrew this. If you can see, there's like a one, two, three, four, five, it's a hexagon shaped like nut thing there attached to this piston. And by screw, un undoing this or unscrewing this, it unscrews the piston. Otherwise, it, you can spin this all day and nothing happens. So I'm gonna keep unscrewing that. Well, you might, it's easy to turn it upside down, that where gravity keeps it pulling down on it. All right, when you do that, this is what's on the top side, nothing, just this little post that's connected to something on the inside of the top portion inside there. Um, but this fell out. This was just stuck right there. And I just pulled that out. All right. So putting them back together, this matches up on there, on top of there. And then this gasket that obviously is broken too, matched up. And then this, and you're putting your piston back in. So I'm going to lay them out kind of in the order. If you see a parts breakdown of them, I'll lay them out kind of in the order that the parts breakdown has them. Has them laid out. Uh, there's also, there's a little metal thing right in there. That comes out, but mine's sticking in there, so I'm going to leave it for now. On the other side, there's a spring in here. There's a large spring, so you're going to want to put pressure on here when you're taking these screws out. Otherwise, it'll probably come poking out at you, and you'll have springs going all over the place. All right. Line it up slowly, and you can see two springs in there the big one goes matches around this area the little one just matches into this nipple sticking out here I'm gonna lay that down up here take my springs out spring same thing big one goes around there the little one sticks in the middle there all right stick the springs over there now this is the diaphragm that's on the inside and it's screwed in normally to like if you were to take this side off first you're gonna have to unscrew it a whole bunch in order to get it out and it might take a while because if this is spinning along with it it's not going to unscrew so that's why i took the bottom part off now what i'm going to do is just push on this as i push that in this comes up take that out set that down so here's the breakdown this is a this is what it looks like on the inside there's this is plastic i don't know if it can be seen but this is plastic and this is like a rubber material. Um, and inspecting it, I don't see any cracks or really any wear and tear on this portion. So that's probably actually good. So I'll probably save this, you know, just in case down the road something happens. However, obviously that's going to get replaced when I get my kit. And this, hopefully you can see it. This was my issue right here this diaphragm or whatever it's called cracked i'm going to flip it inside out and show it to you the hole 
You see the hole goes through to the inside. I guess that was, well, that along with this broken disc or the reason my fuel pump wasn't pumping properly. So I ordered the kit last night from the Master Tech, or yesterday from the Master Tech Marine that's on the internet. If you type in VRO replacement kit, probably he'll pop up first. Real nice guy. He's overnighting me the part. I'm supposed to get it today. And so once I get it, I'm going to put it together.